Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I am going to do another um, palette knife and brush artwork. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be using um, some normal paints, the so Holcroft and Liquitex Basic, but I'm also going to be using Deca Art Americana Decor Texture Paints. So these are quite thick and they're metallic so i'm actually want to see how these ones work in this type of um style of artwork so it's going to be a little bit of fun so <clears throat> i went to do one of these the other day with um different like just a normal whole craft and liquid text basics it was a very hot day it was like 39 degrees celsius which is um over 100 it didn't work the paints dried too quickly and i couldn't get the even um like blending going on they were just drying too quickly um it was feeling very gluggy so i have noticed that this is probably going to be an artwork i'm going to have to do um temperature permitting so today is a cooler day and it's the early morning so i thought I'm going to do this and I'm going to get stuck into it straight away. So I have my Mars Black here. I'm just getting off some dried paint. I didn't do anything right just then. I got paint all over me. So, bear with me. <laughs> so I put some black down. Now I just want to kind of that was not smart. I was rushing. I think I need to slow down, take a few more breaths. I think I was rushing a little bit too much there. And I really wasn't putting my best brain forward. As you can see, I got paint all over me. And that just highlights I gotta get and cut my bloody nails again. Alright. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is some layering of the colours. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm gonna start off with um a darker blue. So I'm gonna use cer cerulean blue hue in Holcroft. This actually feels like a stickish one anyway. So some of these paints, I just have to look at them and they start coming out of the tube. This one needed a little bit of helping hand. I'm going to clean off that palette knife because there was too much um, black on there still. Now, I'm just going to try and swipe it over, add a little bit here and there. It's definitely thick, that one. Thank you. 
So the weather has really, you get so used to painting a certain way and then the weather changes and you kind of got to relearn again what you were doing before the season changed. So um, in winter here, it's it's not excessively cold. It's cold for my climate, but um, it's not cold. We don't get snow or anything, um, but it's quite cold for us. But summer is very hot and very dry and that does cause a few um just makes it a little bit more complicated sometimes in the summer so as you can see this is very thick this texture paint and it does actually leave textured marks um because of its thickness you can actually get quite good effects with it Just going to peel off that bit of dry paint on the tin before I close that lid up because you don't want any to actually of the dry paint to go into your paint jar. That should be it, it's just that one side. Again, I'm just adding is actually a little bit harder to work with with the paints being thicker. But this is why we have fun practicing, testing things out. I believe this would have a quite a good look being metallic paint. So that was my idea for using these. If I do this and it doesn't work out, it's not a fail. As long as you learn from what you do, you're not failing. Um, you just go, okay, that didn't work. I'll do it something different next time. So from here, I might go, um, what do I want to add next? I might go the aquamarine. Again, it's going to be thick, so I'm just getting little bits and just kind of shaking it off. There we go. Three's enough. I've got a few colours I'd like to use here so Actually, that's quite thick in two spots there. And there's a little bit heavier than I wanted. There we go. So I don't use these um, textured paints for a lot of artwork just because I'm still getting used to them. They don't give the same effects that I got with some of my other um, paints in the Daker Art range. So they didn't, uh, they're beautiful paints. They just didn't have the same effects or reactions that I, I get with some like extreme sheens and that. So I've had to use them for different artworks, which is kind of good. It gives you a chance to try something out a bit differently.
definitely harder to work with being thick. But as we see with these, sometimes it's actually the end result that kind of, they look a little bit <clears throat> messy sometimes to start off with. Um, I've gone back and watched my video and it's like, well, that kind of just looks like a bunch of mess. But um, it's ended up working out quite well in the long run. It's how they come together at the end is really the, the, main, the main thing. I am going to go some plum, but I'm going to put the plum more down this bottom end. Far too big a scoop. Yeah, I don't want to have the plum. I want to have this side maybe getting a bit more plum and that side getting a bit more of the turquoise. I'm getting paint all over the place today. I think my hand, <clears throat> my hand eye coordination today is a little bit off. <laughs> Sorry, right, I'm allowed to have a bad, oh, I'm allowed to have a day where it doesn't quite look like it's going the way I plan. This one is, I'm pretty sure it was called Deep Turquoise. Uh, yep, Deep Turquoise. So. And this could take a little bit longer to dry, being such a, a thick paint. And there's quite a bit there. So the more layers I'm adding, the more it's um, just building up. Okay. Not too much more to go. I may actually do this um, non-metallic color now, which is called Wit Sundays. I'm not gonna add it overly heavy. I'm just gonna put a few bits here, there. just to add a little bit of contrast into it, lighten it up a little bit. So when I did this the other day on the hot day, um, everything was just sticking so quickly. It 
it was just becoming very difficult to work with. Okay, now. Do I want, what do I want to add next? Maybe, maybe I'll go a little bit of silver, but I don't want to add too much actually, because I feel like I'm getting a bit too much paint on there. So I'm just going to add a couple little spots, maybe one down the bottom here. I just wanted to have a nice metallic, try this with a nice metallic finish. Because I thought that would actually suit it quite well. I do have white, but I don't think I'm going to add the white. A lot of the black is actually covered where I don't think it's going to over dominate. So I'm going to get these tubs of paint out of the way. Okay. So they're all gone. Put that up there. Now it's just a matter of brushing it out and getting the, the shape of the center that I want. How is it going? Yep, it looks a bit duller in the camera than it is um, from my angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a lighter part first. So probably down this here, and then I'll work into the slightly darker areas. So. So the thicker paint is actually harder to work with. It makes the brush a little bit more um, probably gluggy. But it's a matter of having fun. It does look like it has darkened up a bit. I'm just going to brush the sides a little bit to get some of this excess paint off my brush. Yeah, there's a lot of paint left on the brush. And I'm picking up little bits that have gone over the edge too. So. I'm 
I'm going to just lift it up slightly. So this should hopefully give the sides a similarish finish to the top. Alrighty, that's that bit done. Now, this is going to be a bit dark, isn't it? Yes. Is it going to lighten up as I do more? I think I'm going to have to do the sides first while I can. Again, just going to lift it up a bit. Okay, one last bit. So I think at the moment it looks dark, but I think that once the metallic lightens, it will actually, or dries, it will actually show that metallic sheen a bit more and not look or feel so dark. I'm going to change brushes though, because I feel like that's just a little bit um, dark now from this side, and I want to keep this a bit more gluey. Definitely have a lot of paint on here. Okay, now I just have to work out if I'm happy with the shape, the contrast of it. I reckon I wouldn't mind going a little bit more. That's a bit better. I think that's giving me a little bit more of a shape to it. It is going to be hard to blend when 
there is quite a lot of paint so I probably could have held off on some of the colors I like that. I think that's actually going to look quite good. Especially once it's dry and that metallic shines through. I'm just going to lift it up and I look at it through the light to see if there's any spots that it, there's a blank canvas or not. And that is right there. And Right there. Okay, I'm gonna put that paintbrush aside. Oh, I am gonna flick white onto it because I do find it just adds a little bit of um extra dimension to it. So this is just white that I've mixed with a bit of water. Um, I just use a paintbrush that I've cut the bristles down in half just to make them a bit more stubble. And then I wish I had a proper flicking brush because I wouldn't mind a little bit more um, bigger bigger white parts not so much um, this gives me a lot of like um, what I would call white dust flex when I wouldn't mind a couple of more solider bits Alrighty, I like that. I'm happy with it. So the big test for this one is just going to be is how it looks once it's dry. Because um, these texture metallics actually come out really quite metallic. Um, very, very shiny compared to some. Uh, they all seem to, but they, they do really show up well. Because I've used them in other artworks. But um. I'm happy with this. I'm not going to alter it too much. I have kind of a purpler side and a bluer side. It still came out a little bit darker than I planned. Only because I didn't, I didn't add the white because I didn't, I thought the metallics would lighten it up a bit, but they haven't. But that could also be I use a bit less of those um, lighter metallics and use more deeper ones. But I'm leaving that as is. So I will... Um, I'll bring you down for a close-up. I've just got paint all over my hands. And there we go. So, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's probably a little bit lighter. It's probably, that's probably more accurate to what I see in the, my lens. But let's go down and have a look. So, there's nice texture. There's the rays coming out. The metallics aren't showing their potential yet. And the sides are covered, which you can't really see. They're similar to the, the actual, um, the streaky parts on the top of the canvas. But yeah. All right, finished. I better get going. So have a, a good day. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you soon for another pour. Okay, bye.